2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. And let us all read it together. We're going to read together. And don't leave me out. Walk along with me. All right, let us read. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separated, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean things, and I will receive you. Uh, let me read the next verse, the 18th verse. And will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and my daughter, saith the Lord Almighty. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable right now in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Look at your neighbor and say, we are coming out. And look back to the next one and said, I am out already. Oh, repeat that. Repeat that. I'm coming out. I tell them again. Well, those that are out already, you just keep out. And those that expect to come out, come out if you're in, come out, come out today. Amen. God bless you. Shout an amen. Amen. Since the blood of Jesus has covered you and covered me, take your seat in Jesus' name. Amen. We are coming out. I am out. Amen. I said, I am out. And the word said, though that the sun set free, is free indeed. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean things, and I will receive you unto myself. Amen. Keep a distance from things that would defile you. Keep a distance from things that would hinder you. Keep a distance from things that would hold you back. Because if you are coming out, you're keeping a distance from it. If you're out already, you won't be in it whatsoever. Amen. Yeah. The book of Exodus means the way out. The book of Exodus means the way out. And I'm glad because Jesus is the way maker. And he made the way for me. And he made the way for you. In the name of the Lord. Amen. It records the experience of the children of Israel as they were coming out of bondage. The children of Israel was in bondage and they were coming out. But God always helped and gave destruction. And once we walk and hear from him and lead by him, he will direct us right. So he looked and said, well, they are coming out because I saw the destruction. I heard their cry, but they are coming out in the name of Lord. These are days that God is calling us out, calling out his children. Amen. Not only calling out his children, calling all ages. Amen. The young, the old, the middle, old. he calls all ages out. He don't choose or he don't pick out, but he calls out all ages. Sometimes you can't become, you can become too comfortable with your circumstances. But let me tell you something. When you have your circumstances and have your problem, don't get too comfortable. Remember that the blood of Jesus has covered us uh, and thank God we are coming out um, and if you can't see yourself out already uh, you can tell yourself now I'm out uh, because God going to bring you out uh, he never leave us forsake us uh, nor never forsake us never leave us out uh, nor forsake us uh, but he will bring us out I said he will bring us out so we are coming out as God called out Israel oh Lord likewise he is calling the church of God out in order to bring the church back in place. Amen. And sometimes we have lost a lot. But thank God uh, he reminds us uh, that it is still there. Uh, and when we remember his blood that covered you and his blood covered me uh, and that we are coming out, uh, we got to remember that Pastor Nurse said we're coming out. Uh, I said that the word of God, Jesus said you're coming out. Uh, the same way I brought the, the children out of bondage, uh, brought the children out of Israel, uh, brought the children out of distress, uh, brought the children out of discouragement. Uh, 
brought the children out feel that there's no God again, that the God is turned their back. Uh, what I want to say about God put us into a test. Um, God put us into trials. Uh, God put us into temptation. Uh, and after that, he bring us out. You know why? Because we have to stand tall. Uh, we have to stand still. Uh, know that I am God uh, and I will be with you. Uh, not sometimes. Uh, I will be with you. Not when I feel like um, I will be with you. Not when you're happy. Uh, because when you happy sometimes you don't remember God but I will be with you uh, in your low extent uh, I will bring you up uh, my God up um, right up 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 in the name of Jesus amen and because of that God is our God and he will never forsake us God not only intended to get Israel out of Egypt you think so? He didn't intend it only to get Egypt, um, Israel out of Egypt, but he always wanted to get Egypt out of Israel. And he wanted to get Egypt out of us also. <laughs> Amen. So he always turned things around in the name of the Lord. When you look back at some problems you thought impossible to face, you will see that the reason you are smiling is because God raised up some friend for you, somebody for you. You always feel I'm alone, but you are not alone. I say you are not alone. Uh, Jesus always there by your side. Uh, he knows when you are going down. Uh, he knows when he is bringing you out. Uh, he knows what you are going to face. Uh, but you are never ever alone. Uh, and when the spirit of God direct you, go with it. You hear what he said? You just go with it and come out. You are coming out. I say you are coming out. In the name of the Lord. You look back at your problems. Uh, you look at impossible, you face it, you will see the reason why you are smiling, you can't smile, it's because God raised up somebody. I say he raised up somebody. He always finds somebody. I say he always finds somebody. You always feel that you can't make it. You always feel I'm not worthy enough. You always feel I don't have the education to pull me through. I can't do and I can't. You can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth you. So when we look at the impossible, all things are possible. No, not with Pastor Nerd, but with the Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, so church, today you are coming out. And if you're not out, you will come out. In the name of Jesus, and you're going to come out victorious also. Send somebody. He always sends somebody to stand by your side. <laughs> he always sends somebody that when your hand is going down, oh Lord have mercy, will come and raise it up. <laughs> he always sends somebody when your knees refuse to go. He sends somebody, my God, to hook you up that you can lean upon them. When he said lean upon him, he always finds somebody oh, to say that you can lean upon. Church of God, let me tell you something. It's a God that we are serving. We are not serving man. Not We are not pleasing man. If we were pleasing man or pleasing God, I wouldn't be here. Oh, there's so much that I can please. Do I won't have time in here. But I know that I'm pleasing the Almighty God. And I always tell you, put God first. Anything else would come in line in the name of Jesus. So we are coming out. I say we are coming out. The devil had wish for some of you in here to be in the grave. You know that. Escape from many accidents. Even what's going on now. So he didn't expect you to be here. He thought you would be in the grave. But the devil is a liar. And he will remain a liar. <laughs> and he will continue a liar. <laughs> and all you got to do is when he come up, uh, you say, get behind me, Satan. Uh, it is written, don't tempt the Lord because I'm one of the Lord's children. Come on, church. Uh, we got to be real uh, in what we are doing. Uh, not a show of face. Uh, not a show because I can do. I can't do all things. I can't do nothing. I only depend on God. 
I say, I only depend on God. And I tell you over and over, over and over and over. Oh, when I put my head to a test, God always bring me out. I always feel I can't make it. But God said, you can do all things. You were able to make it. Amen. But he always sends somebody. The devil is a liar. Amen. But God keep you alive for a purpose. Amen. He said, no, you're not going in the grave. No, I'm not putting sickness on you that you paralyze. No, I'm not going to put a sickness on you that you can't speak anymore. <laughs> Glory, I have a purpose for your life. <laughs> and church, let me tell you something. Don't think that you don't have a purpose. Every one of you here that think that you are nothing much. Uh, you of God, you are something of God. You have a purpose. Uh, I say you have a purpose. Uh, you might have a purpose to give it a trap. You might have a purpose to tell someone with the love of God. You might have a purpose in reading the scripture lesson. You might have a purpose uh, in praying. Uh, you might have a purpose uh, in reading. Uh, you might have a purpose in singing. Uh, whatever you have a purpose and God know you have a purpose on your life. Uh, and do it in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You don't always get what you want. You think so? You don't always get what you want. Impossible. You don't always get what you wanted. Huh? But God always opened doors for you. He always opened doors. When you don't get it there or don't get it here or don't get it yonder, or God always opened up a door here, one there, one there. He always opened door for you. So let the door open. And when the door open, you come out. Come out from among them and be separated. Set yourself aside in the name of the Lord. Amen. He always finds someone. He always, he always, he always opened doors. For you, put food on the table. I said, he put, thank you, thank you. Put food on your table. Clothes on your back. No one come in here naked. Amen. You come with clothes on your back. Amen. You don't even got your shoes on your feet, but you ain't got to wear your shoes now. So you can come, come church with both shoes. You, 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 you know what I mean? So shoes on your feet. Help you to pay your bill. Sometimes the bills is more than what you're able to work for. Huh? Then you put it together. And somebody said, hey, you should not have bills. You have bills. You drink water. You have a bath. You eat food. You have to use water. You got to eat food. Amen? Uh -huh. uh, you have the television. Oh my God, you have light. So I ain't even talk about food stuff yet. You understand what I'm talking? All of that is bill money. But God, hallelujah, always open doors for you. Amen. That you're able to lean upon him. Able to call upon him. Amen. I said I didn't know my way out here. But look, God make it there. Today, Monday feel dark. But tomorrow, Tuesday is bright for me. In the name of the Lord. Amen. He put food, clothes on our back, shoes on our feet. I think, I think right now... What I'm speaking of, if you didn't have it before, you have it now, you should give God a praise in the house. I said you should give God a praise in the house. Amen. To supply those need for you. My prayer for all, hallelujah, is that we walk by faith and not by sight. Don't wait to see what you ask for and thank God. Start thanking him before you receive it. You haven't received it yet, but you ask God for it. Thank God for it. Amen. Amen. And he will give you, you will see that that door is open and you will come out and you will walk right into it in the name of the Lord. But once you ask him, my God, and you seek him, he will open that door for you. So you will have to ask him and thank him when you see it because you might never see it. You might never receave it. You hear what I'm saying? They never receive it. 
or you never will get it. But if you ask God, I need so much and so much. I want this and I want that. Keep on asking him. He said, I'm going to fix it in my time, not your time. So I start thanking, thank him, Lord. I haven't received it, but thank you, Lord. I know it is coming. I tell you, it will come in the name of the Lord. I know what I'm talking about. I didn't tell you what somebody tell me or what I hear over the Facebook or what hear somebody bring over on it. I'm telling you by experience. When you ask and thank him, he will supply and he will send it for you in the name of the Lord. Amen. Whatever burdens you've been called to bear, whatever burdens, you say the child of God have burdens, Lord have mercy. Child of God have burdens. Child of God have trials. Child of God have temptation. My Lord have mercy. But I tell you, yes, we have burdens to bear. Hallelujah. And that you that never had bear before, you will make it. And you will come out. I say you will come out more than victorious in the name of the Lord. We serve the same God of Israel. And if Israel can make it, my God, we all will make it. If Israel have come out, we all will come out also. If God have set Israel free, my God, he will set us free here in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Free, free, free at last. Thank God Almighty and free at last. The devil thought that he had me fast, but thank God, I am free at last. All of us have experience. That have caused us to feel that God is not present. You know that? You ever been in a situation so heavy or one trials after the next and always think that God is not there? Huh? God always there. But he don't put more on us that we're able to bear. So when all burdens and heaviness and trials and temptation come, say, Lord, you know you're going to take me out and I will come out of this in the name of the Lord because he's not going to put more on us. He's not going to put more on us than we able to bear. That we able to bear. Israel have made it and we will made it. All of us had experience that God that have caused us to feel that God is not present. And sometimes we really feel that God forget us. But he ain't forget us. He never forsake us. He never, never, he won't forsake us. But in fact, it was an opportunity for God to be glorified through the circumstances. Through the trials, it was God to glorify. It was God to praise through the circumstances and through everything that we are going through in the name of the Lord. Don't you give up. <laughs> Your word may seem upside down, but God is there. He feel your pains. He see your tears. He understand where you are going. <laughs> Israel had been come, but my Lord satisfies they were satisfied in their slavery condition. You know, sometimes we satisfied in the way we are going. We can't care less. Uh, whatever happened, happened. I said, but no, thank God who in come out, you are coming out. In the name of the Lord, you are coming out. Yet God had to call them out. They were satisfied with their slavery condition. They were enslaved. They were in bondage. My God, nothing to eat, whatever, slave, master, and everything. And they're dissatisfied with it. Huh? But that the devil made them feel that they were satisfied. But God then satisfies. He said, because they are my children. Huh? Yet God had to call them out uh, from where they were in order to guide them uh, to the place, hallelujah, he intended for them to be. Oh, thank God. God was calling these people out of Egypt. Not to experience something uncommon, but sometimes that somebody else had already gone through. That he was calling you out, that you were able to encourage somebody, that you were able to help somebody. Uh, you know, sometimes we feel we know all, 
But you ain't know nothing. So we ain't nothing more than a puff of rain. So we don't know anything. Ah, but sister in grace, the blood had covered us, have covered me in the name of the Lord. And I pray that it will cover you all too. Thank God for his grace and mercy. Thank God to help you will make it true. Uh, Reverend Thomas said, uh, three scores and ten, and by reason, uh, and by reason, uh, church, uh, you here at Bridgefield, be contented. Uh, and beg God to help you, uh, that you'll get not only two scores, uh, but some people getting two, three, one, or none. But let me tell you, ask God to give you, uh, hallelujah. You know it is good to jealous after good work. Have a zeal after good work. I say a zeal, not a zeal after mock things, but a zeal after real good works. Uh, and God will bring you out. Uh, and if you ask for long life, he will give you long life. Uh, and as you ask for health with it, he will give you long life and health. And that's the word of God. And if you hold on upon it, uh, we shall receive it. Amen, amen, amen. Genesis 5.20 said, But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it. <laughs> unto good. Uh, God often bring good out of evil. And that was Joseph. You all met bad because they thought that he would remain in the pit. You think you can always in the pit? Huh? You think so? It's special pit there, but you think you can always in it? No, the devil is a liar. You're going to come out of that pit. You're coming out. Uh, I say you're coming out. Uh, in the name of the Lord. Uh, and who's going to bring you out? Only the blood of Jesus. Uh, only the name of Jesus. Uh, that was going to bring you out of that pit. Uh, will bring you out Joseph. Uh, hallelujah. Didn't even know he was going down there. Uh, and the brothers thought. And you know sometimes. The only one sometimes that's come against you. Is their own sisters and brothers. I mean real. Your own sister. I mean that's it. what happened in the church. Uh, your sisters and brothers. Huh? That should even get together. But the devil don't want that. You think it is him? Uh, you think that the devil wants us to be together? Whenever you find trials, uh, it is in the church. Uh, and that's why the word of God in Peter said that judgment will be start, uh, begin in the house of God. Amen. Amen. If you want trials, uh, let somebody start telling you, got a good service, and somebody tell you something. Hey, you know, he passed it to me, she. And he passed it to me, he. But if you're in the place for he and she, that their business, you can just move on because you will come out. I said you will come out. So Joseph went down. Amen. Uh, but he said that my brethren, he want brother, you know. He want blood. They thought. They thought. They thought evil. They thought it would remain there. But God met every evil. He made good come out of it. In the name of the Lord. God often bring good out of evil. And promote the design of his providence. Even as he did for Joseph. He would did for you. Not that he is the altar of sin. But he knows how to bring out good even. When sin is Starting around when sin is moving around. Church of God, I encourage you this morning. I encourage you this morning that you will come out. Come out. Come out from among them and be ye separated, saith the Lord God of hosts. May God bless you. May God continue to keep you. May God continue to strengthen you. May God continue to you and hold on to the unchanging hand of God. It is no man that you can hold on to, no more than the almighty hand of God. When man and friends forsake you, then the Lord promised that he would take us up. So God bless you this morning. Be real good in the name of the Lord. Come out from among them and be ye separated, saith the Lord of hosts. In the name of Jesus.